Welcome back to PG Chain Design. Today I would like to show you how to create this pattern and calculate it correctly for a ring band. Are you ready? Let's get started. We are going to start at the front view and decide how big this ring is going to be. In my demonstration, I like to use 16 millimeter, but I suggest you use exactly the ring size you wanted to do. Then I'm going to draw the profile over here. Basically, I'm going to have this is about two millimeter thick, just over a little bit on 10 millimeter wide. It's pretty wide ring band. I'm going to making a copy by scale down the gumball and making a copy and moving this up for like how much, uh, how deep you want on this space here and basically just using the trim command, select both of them and I wanted to uh, trim off the one in the middle. So this is gonna be our profile, make sure you join them. Then I'm going to moving this from the midpoint to the quadrant here. So now we have this profile. If you do want to, them to sit it with a little bit dome, uh, what you can do is you can creating another arc snapping here to here and just make it dome a little bit like that. So you have a, a slightly different design and we are going to explode it this one and did it this one. On the side, I'm going to set the stone, but it's always nice to have a fillet edges there. So I'm going to have a small fillet. So maybe a 0.25 millimeter. Gonna go here to here. And also the same on the right side, here to here and here to here. If you like to have a comfort fit, what you can do is rebuild this one. And then we want to rebuild into the degree three with the minimum um, point count is number four. And we want to click OK there. Now you can moving those two down. So it will be the comfort fit there. And watch out this corner there. We want to make it nice and round by giving a bigger uh, fit there. So I'm going to try 0.5. So it's a nice and round over there. Okay, so then we are going to go again moving this one up if you want the profile to be nice and round here. Okay, so now that's coming over um, on the perspective, I'm going to just using this curve right here and we are going to use a sweep one rail and this is the rail, this is the cross section. Now the reason to get this surface is because this is where we are going to do the design and so we are going to use create UV curve on this one particular and let's go ahead to take a look on the top view. Now to calculate this correctly, I'm going to use the uh, dimension uh, measurement and I'm gonna measure from here to here. This is 10.51 and to measure from this to this, 65.31. Okay, so it looks like we can cut it out six square there and have a half square hanging over there. So if we want our pattern is nice and square and accurate, we actually need to adjust the width here. So let's take a look on the calculator. So it, I have 65.31 and I want to divide it by seven. I do want to have a seven pattern. So the width I'm having is should be close to 9.33. All right, so we will need to adjust this into a 9.33. So what I'm going to do to have everybody on this curve and I'm going to try to uh, 1D scale it down roughly from this point to this point. And I'm going to scale it down close to 9.33 divided by two. So it will be a little bit thinner and but we will get a better arrangement. So let's give it another try. We are going to do the surface sweep one and this is the rail, this is the cross section and we are going to create UV curve. So coming to the top view, we want this one close to 9.43, so it's not too bad. And we got this for 6, uh, 
All right, so it's really close to what we want, that's okay. And we will be a little bit stretching, but that's fine. So let's go ahead to 1D scale this guy. And from 0.9.43 to 9.43 to 9.33. Okay, so that way we can cut out the square perfectly. And that's using the rectangle, and I'm going to hold my shift. And then we are going to use this square to design um, our design, to do our design. And then, so let's go ahead to find out where it's the center by drawing another line right there. So the first element that we wanted to do is more like a diamond shape. And I'm gonna use this one to be split by this guy. Then we can have another line snapping into here. So this will be that triangle, half of the shape that we are looking for. So I'm going to use this one to trim off here and using this one to trim off this side here. All right, this is what we are looking for and I'm going to join it, right? And I do not want to have the edges touching the edge on the other side. So this one, I actually going to moving this point in a little bit. So creating some space there. And then simply just have this one to mirror to the other side. And let's do a test. We wanted to have this one and to do polar array from this point for four of them. So we'll get the shape like that. Now, if you do want to have them uh, coming out a little bit more, you can moving this point out a little bit more if that is the design that you're looking for. Okay, so it's looking good there. And we also want to make sure they are overlapping. So I might want to just 3D scale it up a little bit and we want to make sure that um, I have this coming over here. So there's no hanging outside of this border there, um, but the center will be overlapping a little bit. Okay. And then uh, next things I wanted to do is I wanted to offset the curve. And this is where we're going to have a milligram and depends on how uh, thick the border you wanted to have. I'm planning to have the distance for roughly points seven millimeter and I want to go inside there. Okay, so once I have that one, um, we can make it into the solid. But first things I wanted to make sure I'm not uh, have making the pattern higher than what our design is. So I simply want to measure from here to here and this is about 0.73. So I do not want it to over this uh, radius over here. So we are going to make the high 0.73 on our pattern, right? So knowing that um, we, we are going to extrude this one straight and the number we want to get is 0.73. So then we will have a solid there. Uh, to make it look nicer, I would like to have a fillet edges on all of them. So let's try fillet edges for something really small, like 0.1 millimeter. It will looking much better on the rendering. So then we'll have something like that. Okay. Then the next thing is we need to make a milligram. So I'm going to offset this guy to the center. So it was 0.7. So I'm going to offset 0.35. So we will have the curve right in the middle and I'm going to moving this curve up a little bit. And also let me turning into the red colors so is easier for you to see. Okay, so now we have this red there and I'm going to make uh, the beads on it. So we're gonna snapping right here and kind of an eyeball like for whatever size that fit it for your design. So I'm gonna do something like this. Okay, so now I have that. Let's go ahead to explode it, the curve that we have. So we only need to deal one side and then we can kind of uh, mirror to, to the rest of the full side. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to use the command and it is array along curve and I'm gonna pick up the object first and then pick up the curve and depends on how many do you want it. I kind of eyeball it. Maybe we want to have a piece 
and let's click OK and see if this is too jam. Now, if this is too jam, and let's take a look on the render view, then you may want to use seven piece instead of eight piece. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna stay with this one. You can you can you know tweak it and you can kind of try and see uh, what is the best looking for your design. So simply, I'm going to select everybody here and just mirror to the other side. And again, I'm going to pick up everybody here and including those two. Oh. And, and these are like those two. And we are going to mirror to the bottom part from the center. All right. So double make sure that this looking good and that's what you want. And if everything looks nice, just go ahead to Boolean Union, all of them. So now we have this unit there. Let's go ahead to use the polar array. And the center is this curve right here. And I wanted to do four of them. So and that way there will be intersect there and then we can Boolean it later. So that is one of the pattern there. OK, the second thing is I'm going to making a copy on all of them. And using the copy command, we're going to making this to here. So that way, this is um, the area we have something to, to look at for, to do the design. You can using the uh, art tool, and you can snapping somewhere about here and somewhere about here and just moving up something like this. It's up to you what type of a design that you like to do. Or you can have, you know, more of a straight line instead of an arc. It's up to you. Uh, I would like to have the same thickness. So I'm going to offset this guy for 0.7 and coming into the middle. And since we are going to um, doing the B, so I'm going to offset again somewhere in the middle. So let's try 0.35. So we have those three lines to, to play with. To making the shape, I'm going to have those two and to mirror to the other side. Something like this. And with this uh, cross line there, we are just going to trim each other. I'm also going to use this curve to trim off the extra on the top and to make them into the closed curve I am going to uh, snapping endpoint to the endpoint here and endpoint to the endpoint here all right so let's go ahead to select all the curve on the border over there and join them so once we so once we join them, we can creating the thickness. And I simply just going to uh, extrude the planar curve straight. And I'm going to extrude it the same height as the rest of the design. And we are going to do the same radius. So let's try the radius. So I'm going to fit the edges. And giving some radius is similar like what we had before. Let's try point 0.1 here. And we're going to click here, here, and all the edges on the top. We don't have to do the things on the bottom because it's going to attach to the original ring shank. All right. So now we have that. I'm going to moving this one up about the same height that we have here. OK, and I'm going to making a B here and we are going to use a sphere again. And I'm going to snapping close to where in the center for about similar size like this one. So now I have that B is over there. We are going to use the same command uh, array along the curve and going to snapping with this B here and this curve over here. So. Again, we kind of need to guessing uh, how many they are. So I'm going to guessing maybe 18 of them. And to see if this is looking good. I also will suggest you to use a render view to take a look on that. Now for 18 of them, it seems like this is tighter and this is looser. So I'm going to come back again. Maybe I need to just adding a little bit more. So I'm going to use the um, array along curve again and we're going to pick up this object and we're going to pick up this curve but i do want to edit just a little bit more like 20 of them 
So that way it will look similar with the rest of the pattern and we don't need this ball here, we don't need this ball there. Okay, so we're gonna pick up all the ball that we have and then simply just mirror to the other side. For the middle design, I simply just going to uh, making a copy from this point on my edge there and copy to the middle point right there. All right, and simply just moving it up something like this so this will be the pattern over there then i can use this curve to trim off whatever hanging outside over there right so now what you see is an open surface all i need to do is use a command cap and then we can close it and i would suggest you rolling unit all the beads first so they uh, they stitch up into one shape. If you have all the B is separate and you try to flow it back, it's it will be disaster. Um, your computer might crash. So then I want to mirror this guy with the midpoint over here. Then that will be our design. So for our design, uh, I don't need to go finish all of them. I actually want to flow only this pattern back to uh, my ring. So that will reduce the calculation on my computer and so I'm gonna pick up this curve and make it into the solid with the surface from planar curve and we are going to pick up the pattern over here and including this one and this one and let's use a flow along surface and I'm going to pick up close to this corner and the target will be similar corner here so now we are looking at this one it flowed nicely over there and we're gonna pick up all of them again the front view and i'm going to use the polar array and remember that we have the seven section on our calculation so i'm just going to type it seven and hit enter you can see they will flow really nice there's no gap and the pattern gonna go really well there thank you for watching the part one of this i will finish the rest of the ring with the stone setting in the next video i hope you enjoy please let me know how you like it and share my video so i can reach more people to learn jury cat design with rhino thank you for watching see you next